Hey guys, in this video we are going to install 13 solar panels with EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra Power Station. If you're interested, let's jump into the video. Client has existing grid tie solar system but needs more energy. We are using iron rich reckon, flash foot to roof mounts with metal flashings and the XR100 rails. We are using JA Solar 405 watts solar panels. 10 panels is going to be in the high voltage stream and 3 panels low voltage stream. Now I'm installing flashing for EMT conduit and this conduit is going to connect junction box on the roof with the AP Smart junction box in the garage. Before nailing flashing to the roof we need to run conduit and center flashing so we're gonna remove any stress from rubber boot and I'm adding another rubber boot to provide extra rain protection. Now we have all rails installed and the conduit connecting low voltage array with high voltage array and all wires going into junction box. After nailing flashing we need to use just a little bit of carton to seal the nails heads. Because we are installing panels on a dwelling unit we will need to use rapid shutdown and we are going to use AP Smart and our run is going to be in a metal conduit in the crawl space. After running all wires we can start installing solar panels. And here's the AP Smart device itself. It has two inputs that we are connecting to solar panel and two outputs we are forming our stream, connecting them in a series. It's gonna be a lot of wires under each panel because we have long wires from solar panels and long wires for AP Smart. The easiest way to organize all of them is to clip AP Smart as close as possible to the rail and then zip tie all of these wires. For the AC disconnect, we're running this MC cable along the wall, coming here, and it's going to be AC disconnect installed for a rapid shutdown. For AC disconnect, we need to get power from EcoFlow smart panel, so in case of power outage, we still have solar panels producing the power. And the disconnect is going to cut power between smart panel and AP smart transmitter. Now we can connect PV wires, turn PV switch, and we're getting 4.1 kilowatts of power. And here's the install panels. All right, guys, that's all about this video. I hope you'll find something useful here. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.